YouTube, what's going on with you? Your boy Trucker Rob coming through. I'm just sitting here because I got to go wondering whether I should go ahead and drive or go ahead and catch the Greyhound because um, I actually got orientation in Atlanta and I'm in Savannah. So I'm like, this shit, it's right up the street, so why should I catch the Greyhound? But I ain't going to lie. I don't feel like driving, wasting my gas, my miles. I don't know, I just kind of don't feel like I got orientated to another company because I had to leave CCC Transportation. Yeah, I'm saying their name. I had to leave their ass, man. They some shady motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? If I was y'all, I wouldn't fuck with them at all. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I try to leave the right way. You feel me? I tried to go ahead and put in my two weeks notice and been like, you know, I even wrote a, wrote a letter, letter of a resignation. You know what I'm saying? I was like, Thank you for the opportunity as far as getting me when I was a new driver. You know, I appreciate everything y'all did for me and blah, 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 telling them bullshit. Yes, I was kind of gassing up, gassing them up because I couldn't stand the company with a passion. And they really showed me their real true colors. You feel me? They showed me their true colors when I did that. Because I, I wrote that in my quail column. You know what I'm saying? I wrote that. It's because I know it was going to go straight to the base, straight to the, you know, you know, let's get to the home base in Florida. So that's why I wrote it in my quail column because I, I say I couldn't trust. It's kind of sad. You you just don't you don't got no trust for your um your, your fleet manager, your terminal manager, nothing. So I went on and, and um, wrote it in my quail column, and it's because I know I was gonna go straight to the home base. So I did that. But anyway, I called my fleet manager the next day, and she was just like. So you saying there's no way I could change your mind? I was like, well, one of my biggest things is money. So as less y'all gonna like try to give me money or something that that you know that that you know something in that nature, money, better equipment, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that, because it's like I was making more, way more money with two jobs versus working one job, you feel me? Cause I was almost like a, basically a broke trucker. Them where you numbers don't even go together. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never heard of a broke trucker. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know, she was. You know, anyway, I'm gonna get back to my story. I'm not bad. Traffic is distracting me, but anyway. But yeah, she was talking about. So there's no way I could um change your mind. I was saying no. I mean, that's you know, more money involved, and you know, better guidance from some of your your um your managers on this on this yard. Then um, you know you know you know what I mean, you know the other ones that's beneath her on the yard because you know and dispatch and shit dispatch was all fucked up and all kind of stuff, and she was like, okay, we're turning your keys, turning your fuel card, and clean up my truck and good luck. That's just how she said it. Naz is a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I was like, why you got to be like that? Cause I told you I was gonna I was gonna give you two weeks. Nah, you good. Just go ahead and give me the gift. Just go ahead and leave the key in the truck, your fuel card, and clean up the truck. Good luck. And basically hung up in my face. I'm like, the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to call Corporate Monday. Because even Orientation Monday, I know it ain't going to be all day. You know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, like I know we're going to have a lunch break and all that kind of shit. So I said, I'm going to call Corporate and make sure, let me see what she put on my deck report. Because I don't want her to put down, you know, abandonment or, or, you know, some shit like that. I always watch a deck report. You know what I'm saying? I'm a new driver and I and, and I still watch, like, videos all the time about trucking. Because about trucking. that's how interesting I am, I am in the business. And, my you know, my what I'm doing. I done worked so damn hard just to get my license, bruh. So it's like... Um, I'm going to go ahead and call corporate and see what she put on my deck report. Because I got proof, bro. I got proof that I wrote to her and gave her my damn notice in the Qualcomm. You feel me? I put that shit in the Qualcomm. I did that shit on purpose. And then when I did it, you know what I'm saying, when I called her and she got all nasty and shit with me and basically hung up in my face, I got on the phone with my wife and my wife was just like, you better go go to your truck. You better hurry up and go back to your, go back to your truck and take pictures of it. I'm like, Oh shit, you ain't never lied. So I went back to my truck, I took pictures of it, 
You know what I'm saying? Damn sure, you know, they still got it. I mean, they, not they still got it. It was still in there. Good thing. Because the mechanics just was, I just I got there in the nick of time. As soon as I got there, the mechanics was up, like was in my truck. They could have easily erased that shit. They done did it before. You know what I'm saying? When they was fixing my truck one time, for some, they just, I don't know why they do it, but they just erased my shit. I don't know. So, but I was able to take pictures of it. So, and I put it in my cloud, right? So I could damn drop, my, my phone could drop in water, get abducted by aliens. Somebody could still, <laughs> it don't matter. I got that shit, you feel me? So, I'm going to call, I'm going to call the corporate office tomorrow. Sometimes doing like a break or lunch break or something, an orientation. And be like, what exactly did she put in my DAC report? Because I got proof. If y'all, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm telling myself, I'm pretty sure y'all got proof because I put it in the Qualcomm. I know everything I put in the Qualcomm is get sent, you know, they get sent to the home base in Florida. Because when I put in the Qualcomm by about three hours later, I didn't know, hell, I was sleeping once I did my shit. And that's how, that's how, man, I, that's a man right there, bro. Because I, I still went and delivered my loads even though I was about to quit. Hell, I put it, I was going to put in my two, I put in my two weeks. I put in my two weeks, bro. I ain't that kind of nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's like, shit, I ain't left a, a job, especially a main job, the bad way. And, I mean, a bad way and probably uh, since I was like in my early 20s. You know what I'm saying? I ain't a little boy, 36 years old. You feel me? So it's like, shit, I tried to be man enough to do it the right way. I was going to do all these damn loads because I kind of, I actually felt bad for him because, um, the day before, she had told me, she was, she had sent in the quail call, she was like, all of y'all be ready now, because I'm going to start giving y'all more loads, more loads, and y'all going to have to work basically every Saturday. So y'all be ready to work, because the work is coming, you know, we got a large contract with Argos coming through, and it's a lot of work coming through, so it's like, y'all be ready to work, because I'm going to start giving y'all at least four loads a day, and every Saturday. I'm like, damn. So, you know. I, I, I kind of felt bad for him. So at least I was going to give him two weeks. You know what I'm saying? I even told my new job. I called him. I need about two weeks. I can't just leave him like that. They already short. They was down. They was down. Let me see. Let me tell you how bad the company is. When I first got started, it was like 10 drivers. 10. When I go 10, you know, 10 drive bulk drivers, that is. And... Right before they let me go for trying to put in my two weeks, you know what I'm saying? They was down to three drivers, now they down to two. All because she want to be a fucking bitch. Sorry, kids. I know my kids are probably watching, but it's the truth. Hell, anyway, y'all probably heard me say more than that, but worse shit than that anyway. But it's the truth. I tried to do it, do it the right way. Try to put in my damn notice. You mad, because now you even shorter. Then I just got word that one of those two other one of those two drivers, he he about to leave this week. He said he he ain't gonna got them, so he ain't gonna ever try to do it what I did. Cause he said he don't want to them even risk her fucking up his deck report. That's why that's another reason why I said, oh fuck that. I got I got to call the corporate office and see what the fuck they put down. And even with this new job, I say, um, when I um, talk to my dispatch or fleet manager, or whatever, I'ma ask him. Or oh, safety, I think it's safety. I think safety could tell you what's on your deck. Well, anyway, even with this new job, I'm going to ask them, can they tell me what's on my deck report? Because I know there's no what's on it. That's why they was able to hire me. Because at the time, like a week before, a week before, not even a week, come see. I put my, my letter of resignation in on a Tuesday, no, on Thursday, Thursday afternoon. I, I already had plans on leaving. You know, the, the other jobs, they, they was gave me the green light at Tuesday afternoon. So I spent now, now 48 hours trying to, you know, figure out a way and how I'm going to do this. So I was like, I was just like, I'm going to go ahead and send them a, um, a letter of resignation through the Qualcomm. Because I said, I ain't about to type up no shit and give it to my fleet manager. Next thing you know, it's going to grow legs. I knew he was leaving. He just didn't start showing up for work. You know what I'm saying? But this shit in the computer, in my phone, in that Qualcomm that I sit down to the, the, um, the Almondale, Florida. So it's like, but I'm going to still call them and see what's up. And even if I do call them and they be like, 
Well, yeah, we got it. We know. So you, you put in your question. You, you know, she put in the right thing. Blah, 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 blah. I'm still going to ask my um, safety in my new company what is on my what is on my deck. You know what I'm saying? Your deck report basically what determines a, a truck driver, his job, you know, his job performance, his job history, how early, how late he was to a job, how the customers felt about that driver, how professional he was, all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? That deck report is, is, is vital to a trucker. So... <clears throat> So um, I'm gonna call and see what's up about that shit tomorrow, cause I don't want her. I don't want to, you know. I don't know. But anyway, I just want to let y'all know what's going on with that. But yeah, um, I'm starting a new with a new company tomorrow. Going to orientation, y'all wish me luck. I always get nervous. I don't know why. I always get nervous with um, with the dry test and the maneuver test. No one I could do that shit. I just, it just, it is the only thing that's kind of new to me. It's being regional and sliding tandems and shit. I ain't with even with them, I ain't had to slide no tandem. So I still don't got no experience with sliding tandems. And I know it's and I know it's about um I know sliding the tandems is kinda like how much weight you wanna pull on the stairs or how much weight you wanna pull on the drive axles. I mean on the drive axles, how much weight you wanna put on the drive axles and how much on weight you wanna put on the um the trailer axles. I understand that, but I just don't understand why and how it, it, it does that work exactly, but I'm hearing that I'm experienced now. I've been in the, in the, on the job now, well, driving trucks now for what, almost nine months. So that's why I was able to get paid decent. You know what I'm saying? So I get paid decent miles. I mean, decent amount in miles now. So, so um, I'm gonna see what's up. You know what I'm saying? So, they offer me way more money than this current company. It's like, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't live it. I mean, I like the, the job ain't that hard, but this one paying us nothing. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I got a mortgage for kids, a wife, a car note, all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? They was paying me so bad that I couldn't even really do nothing like that, man. It's like... Oh shit! I told my wife, man. I sat down with my wife and talked to her, and I was like, "Baby, I'm sad. But I'm a broke trucker. I didn't even know the words go together. I didn't even know the words went together. Broke and trucker, broke and trucking. I didn't know they went together. You know what I'm saying? I'm mad enough to admit it. I'm saying it over the world. I'm saying it to the world. You know what I'm saying? But, but yeah." Like the title saying, leave the CCC for something better. But y'all holler at me, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, whatever. You like it, you don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make more videos. You know, I'm just trying to get back to it. You know what I'm saying? Here and there. You know, this is just the way I vent because I'm a loner. I like to talk to myself. I ain't going to lie. That's why I love. That's why I like trucking. I like to talk to myself, chill myself. Laugh at my dumb ass corny jokes sometimes. Or just be quiet and think. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to work with some, you know. I kind of prefer it. You know what I'm saying? That I don't have to work with people like that. So. I don't know. It is what it is. But I'm going to highlight y'all.